As a leader of your construction company, your people are always watching how you respond to adversity. Low-performing leaders seek to make excuses when things go badly. High-performing leaders seek to learn. I'll give you an example. When you lose a bid to a comp- uh, the competition, how do you respond to that? Uh, many construction companies, you know, you know what they'll say? They'll say, ah, oh, they're cheap, uh, they're poor quality, or they got lucky, something like that. They'll make excuses for why they lost the bid. I was talking to one of my clients yesterday, and he gave me a specific example of how he refuses to do that. He was losing uh, uh, consistently bids to this one company, and his first thought was, you know what, they are lucky, or they are cheap, or they are poor quality. But you know what he did? He went out and walked one of their jobs, and and he found out that, in fact, they were more efficient than he was in the way that they were running their construction work, and that's why they could underbid him. Um, when they were competing for a project. So think about this for a moment. Instead of making excuses, instead of blaming others, instead of um, coming up with some sort of reason why they didn't win that bid, the leader of the construction company went out to the job site, saw how the other guys performed, picked up some tips, and realized that he was up against legitimate competition. So how you respond to adversity, how you respond to wins and losses will dictate very much the temperament of your organization. So make sure that you have a winning, high-performing temperament. Don't seek to excuse, seek to learn, seek to improve, and always be seeking to move forward as the leader of your construction company. My name is Eric Anderton. Hope you found this video helpful, and have a great day.